There is a lot of hype about Honda's Civic Type R. We have brought one to the official test track of Grassroots Motorsports, the firm here in Keystone Heights, Florida. We're gonna see how it does. We have the legend, the Honda Civic Type R. This is one of the most polarizing cars anywhere on the internet or in real life because it is 300 plus horsepower and 3000 plus visual horsepower of legendary Honda Type R Honda. So what else can you say about a nameplate that just basically has become iconic over the years? Let us jump into this Civic Type R, get it out on track. I cannot wait to test the uh, corners of the Florida International Rally and Motorsports Park with Honda's 2021 Boost Blue Civic Type R. It is every bit as good as the hype surrounding it says it is. You can, you can feel incredibly intuitively what all four contact patches are, are doing. And you, you can manage it with, with either pedal. You can manage it with the throttle, you can manage it with the brakes. Uh, it trail brakes as good or better than any car I've ever driven. Like, it does not like to enter corners on the throttle. It loves to trail brake. It, it, you just, you, you delay that braking a little bit, you um, hit your braking marker, start to roll off and leave some load on the front of the car as you roll into a corner. Oh man, it is so beautiful. It's very powerful. You know, the only time, it, 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 and it actually, it's so powerful that it actually squirms around a little bit because those front tires are fighting for traction. Uh, but the diff is amazing. It, it really just, it, it's always putting power down. If if you come off the power, you tighten your line in, in a corner. If you get on the power, it widens your line. And it does so in very proportional, very intuitive ways. Really fun car to drive. Great shock control. Uh, I was getting really hard in some of the curbs out there just to see how it would handle that. And you can actually get to the point where the shocks are so well controlled, the chassis is so well balanced, that you can use the curbs to sort of selectively pick um, your, your, your traction profile through, through the next corner. Brakes are great. Brakes held up through an, an entire session. Uh, I, I, got, I got no complaints there. You know, if you were gonna take this to the track and you put a set of track pads on it, they would be even better. So uh, no, no issues there at all. The only issue that I noticed is after about five laps on, uh, on the firm here, we did get into some higher engine temperatures. It did creep up a little bit past halfway. I cannot wait to get a look at the data that we've, we've captured to just see if it validates some of, uh, some of what I felt out there. Because what I felt out there was really impressive. So let's go take a look at the data. So let's take a look at our AEM data on the Honda Civic Type R. Now, one thing I, I really felt that I liked about this car, and I think I mentioned it during the actual track testing, was I really liked the way it trail brakes. It really kind of helps you put weight on the nose of the car and get the car to turn. So let's take a look at an area on the uh, Florida Inter International Rally and Motorsports Park where trail braking is paramount. If you watch the video here, you see that we are entering a long left-hand sweeper. So we're braking, we're approaching the sweeper, we're, we're turning in, and the camber is kind of weird because we turn in with no camber on, on the road, so we lose the nose a little bit, and all of a sudden we gain a bunch of camber, so we, we have, um, a, a little road camber that grabs the nose. So having a car that trail brakes well, very, very important here. So let's look at, the, at what the data is telling us about how this car is trail braking. If you look at our top trace here, this is speed. We can see we immediately begin scrubbing speed off when we apply the brakes. We can see the lateral G starts building immediately after we start applying the brakes. And the lateral G also starts building immediately after the longitudinal G starts building showing that we are still slowing the car as we're, as we're turning into that corner. If we look at our, our uh, G target here, we can, we can see that happening in real time. As we approach the corner, the, uh, the little white trace is back showing we're still accelerating towards the corner. We immediately begin braking, and then without letting the car return to a, to a, a, a neutral position, we're bending into that corner as we're bleeding off the brake, showing that car is trail braking very, very well. So it felt good and the data was also showing that as well. 
If you're enjoying what we're doing here, check us out online at grassrootsmotorsports.com. If you're watching on YouTube, go right down here, hit that subscribe button. We would appreciate it. For Grassroots Motorsports Magazine, I'm JG Pastor Jack. We'll see you at the track next time. Support brands that support Grassroots Motorsports. Get your chemical solutions from CRC Industries. Visit crcindustries.com to learn more.